We start with the Bulls from this morning's performance in the third and final go. And the Bulls were bucking. Unlike yesterday, we actually got two qualifying rides in today, but just barely. Josh Toomer hangs on as long as he can, but he falls off right as the buzzer goes. The judges give it to him, and he scores a 73. A few riders later, same story for Dalton Peterson. He falls off right as the buzzer sounds. Judges, they're generous. Again, they say he's good. He scores a 74. Those two would be it. Scary moment to end the performance. RJ Coten gets slammed down by his bull. Take another look. The hind legs are actually going to catch his, him in the chest and throw him into the ground. He wasn't moving, but eventually he was able to get up and walk out of the arena. So a happy ending to that moment. Now let's see what the cowgirls are up to on the trackside arena. This was tonight's event. Start with pole bending and District 4's Aubrey Bautista. A decent ride for her, keeping all poles upright. She makes the turn. She's going to come in with a time of 21.960. Now how about Brooke Rammel out of District 7 in Teton High School. A pretty good ride for her, a little bit quicker, 20.684 as she crosses the line. That's good enough for the top ride of the night. Let's move to Goat Tine, but stay with the Rammels. This is Hannah out of, you guessed it, District 7. A great time for her, coming at 9.62 seconds. That was pretty good, but this is even better. Timmy Hutchings, District 4, Snake River High School. Blazing fast time, 7.97 for the fastest time of the night. And back over to the boys' event, Steer Wrestling. Ruger Piva from Chalice was our wrestler of the year this winter. He wrestles the steer down in a fast time, 6.57 seconds. That's pretty good. But not to be outdone is District 7's Jake Worthen from Rigby. 4.81 seconds gets it down. And watch his celebration right there, the worm in the rodeo dirt. Just watch out for the cow pies. Now to the saddle bronc. Tanner Butner from Pinedale, Wyoming. Not too bad. He stayed on. He's going to score a 46, but they gave him the option of a re ride because the horse wasn't bucking that much. He gambled, took the re ride, and then he did this coming out, grabbing an 81 on the re ride. Gotta love the risk reward factor there for Butner. 